arising out of the low shedding situation, government decided to add on to our national grid additional generation. And this was one of the three emergency power purchase agreements I brought to, I brought to cabinet and also to parliament. The three agreements were the Ameri Agreement, the Cal Power Agreement, the AXA Agreement, and Ghana Power Generating Company was the fourth of those emergency power agreements. We also had some regular IPPs that I brought to Parliament. This included the Jacobson, the Amandi agreements, but those were, and then the early power agreement, those were regular IPPs. I'm distinguishing those from the emergency uh, power purchase agreements. In terms of the judgment that I played no role, remember, Ghana has encumbered this debt arising out of what the court determined to be wrongful termination of a valid contract. I played no role in the termination, and therefore, I played no role. You were all here with the Ameri. They raided our homes at dawn. It amounted to nothing. I act in the best national interest. If anybody disagrees, he has the right to investigate. But you don't sit on national radio as the Attorney General, the number one lawyer of the nation, and try to intimidate people like me. We are not intimidated. They should, they should explain why they terminated the contract, and not just the termination. You see, every contract has termination clauses. Did we go by the termination clauses contained in the contract? The panel says no. I'm not the one saying. The arbitration panel says no. And this position has been upheld by the court in London. So we even went about the termination wrong, assuming, assuming without admitting that there was a basis for the termination. Read the report of the arbitration panel. Read paragraphs 479 and then paragraph 490. Dr. Hinkra whose report was allegedly the basis for termination, could not defend the report. Parliament and stated that for four years we paid about $900 million for SS capacity, what he defined as SS capacity. If you divide the amount paid over four years that he covered, each year was about $234 million, if you divide it by four. ECG, the custodian of all the contracts, stated to the Parliamentary Committee on Mines and Energy that the reserve margin or the spinning margin in the trade comes to about $200 million a year. The, re the reserve margin is like reserve players in a team.